officially the worst Christmas ever! As disasters go, this is my biggest one yet. Let's go back two weeks before I ruined Christmas. Don't even think about that until after breakfast. Oh, I was just checking there was one there for later. Two weeks to go, and he's on the 99th growth percentile. Keep up the good work. No, no, don't listen to your sister. You are a good size. Don't get any bigger. <sighs> Studies show babies with large heads can grow up to have higher IQs. Please don't be a geek like Emily. Be a normal person like me. Dad. The cradle is now five days behind schedule. Mum and Dad let her write a pregnancy timetable to help them keep on track. Boy, are they regretting that decision. I will do it today. Maybe we should have penalty points for not sticking to the timetable. Excellent idea. We can start with ten points off you for crossing out your visit to the maternity ward tomorrow. Oh, not so cocky now, are we? I told you I'm having a home birth. But what if there's a complication? Hospitals have machines and doctors in it. Your age... You might need them. My age! I'm glad I left. Take cover. <sighs> Hospitals are sterilised safe environments where less can go wrong. Oh, really? It's a baby boy. We're calling him Hank. <laughs> they let me off because I was a baby. Next time, they weren't quite so understanding. Hank, come say hello to your little baby sister, Emily. Hank? <laughs> no hospitals. I want less equipment around. Right, um, where are the gherkins? I need, I need some gherkins. Here you go, my love. Don't panic. Yeah. Yeah. Mum gets his weird cravings. Mangoes, mushy peas, fish skin. Right now, it's gherkins. Can't get enough of them. She loves the mini ones from Papa Pete's Deli. Nothing but the best for my angel. <laughs> oh, my stocking made my list. Hoping Santa is my wish. Who's he into now? Hayden Chase. She's basically a hairspray that can sing. in a video in London. Maybe she hired me as a backing dancer. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Off the rock and roll reindeer. Great title, Mr. Rock. Thank you. You're gonna have a great title if you're gonna have a great musical. Did you ever hear Earwax the musical? Did you ever hear Toe Hair the musical? No. That's right. That's why the three of you have to be at auditions. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, you're gonna be fantastic, all three. Even me. Especially you. Now get out of here. Get to class. I love school Christmas. No proper lessons. Loads of messing about. It's brilliant. You are doing. I know 
that you're not a fan of my work, but I think even you will be up on your cloven hooves and dance to this one. Well, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about that. Oh, isn't that great? Feel the energy. It's like when we opened for the Beatles at Shea Stadium. Rock and roll, Miss A. How you ever became a teacher is a mystery to me. You know what? To me, too. in this musical. Yeah, Grisilla, the evil snow witch. Everything you look at turns to ice. See what I mean? You're perfect. Stop everything! Headmaster? I've just been informed. We're having a surprise school inspection. Oh. They're due within an hour. Okay, just stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Oh, this really is most tiresome. and we've only just had an inspection. That was before the incident with a runaway lawnmower. And the exploding custard. Awkward. You know what? They're not coming. It can't come. It's Christmas. Christmas is cancelled! I must be having a nightmare. Three, Son thing, you understand? Of course. I hand carved Rosa's cradle from a solid block of Sicilian oak. It took me six months, 77 blisters. Eh? Oh, I love that cradle. You're the best, Daddy. Well, here we go, son. One hand assembled cradle coming right up. Go prancer, go dancer, go fix it, go comet, go cupid, go donner. Go, wh what are you doing? Mr. Joy has cancelled your alleged musical. Oh, no, he, he didn't do that. I work all year for this. The auditions are today. Not anymore. Well, I'm going to go talk to him. Well, you can't. He's preparing for the school inspection, as should you be. We don't want one bad apple spoiling the whole barrel. Well, let me tell you, this apple doesn't care what the inspectors think. I only care that the little apples have a great Christmas. Well, what all the other little mm. pupils need is a first-rate education, not a second-rate center. Did you just say that to me? <laughs> yes, I did. Stevens, head inspector for the lovely building. <laughs> building. Jonathan Lowe, trainee. This is my first inspection. Uh, well, welcome to Westbrook. What a pleasure having you here. When I heard we was having a surprise inspection, I was like, yes! I love inspections. Love them, love them, love them. Like Christmas had come early. Thank you, Santa. When you come down that chimney, I'm going to leave you something. <laughs> oh, that makes a change. Change. Shall we begin? Tell me how to separate substances in a mixture. What if they're friends? What if they don't want to be separated? <laughs> Miss, can't we do something more Christmassy than chemistry? Ooh. We could do a secret Santa. We could all get a surprise gift. Awesome. Now you're talking. Christmas starts on December the 25th, another day sooner. The different methods are... Demonstration, evaporation, distillation... Oh. Nick McKelty, a grade A student, a grade A pain. Now, this experiment might go slightly It's always worth a try. No, 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 no. Part of me knows this is going to be really bad, but part of me really wants it to happen. ourselves on creating an atmosphere of calm and serenity. You were saying? Saying? 
Is there an echo in here? It's with an echo. All right, what'd you do this time? I threw a paper ball at Masadov. Good one. <laughs> you. Apparently, I'm supposed to have something called a lesson plan. I mean, who knew? How do you plan music? I oh. See, that's what I think. I thought you just kind of grab the guitar, turn up the volume, and let the reindeers rock. Whiteboard shattered off the wall. That sounds awesome. Yeah, except Mr. Joy thought it sounded like an orchestra trapped inside a tumble dryer. Victor! Okay, listen. His bark is worse than his bite. But then they said that about my grandmother's dog. And he ate the mailman. Go get him. Miss Adolf in green gunge. It was more a sort of turquoise. <laughs> it's not funny, Hank. Mr. Joy says this is your final warning. One more incident and you get suspended. Hank, you've got to stop getting into trouble. It was an accident. Well, it's always an accident, isn't it? You need to grow up, Hank. We've only got room for one baby in this flat. Emily, what are you doing? I said I'd get the tree when I'd finished building the cradle. Yeah, thought it'd be nice to have one before Easter. Emily, you don't need to be cheeky. Your father's doing his best. Oh, thank you for the vote of confidence. So, who wants to help me decorate it? Me. Remember what happened last time you decorated the tree? Sorry. It was an accident. Okay, well, we can all decorate the tree. Come on, everybody. Grab a bauble. Best not. I'll only break it. That's odd. My head feels breezy. Oh, that's not good. Chase has gone number one in the download chart. Ugh, she's spreading like a virus. I have to find a cure. Have you seen the inspectors? They were heading for Mr. Rock's classroom. The one can only hope they brought protective headgear. Oh. 
Just once I want to hear Santa say Go Rudolph, tonight you can guide the sleigh And then the other reindeers get lost and Rudolph has to save the day This sounds wonderful, wonderful You know the beauty of music lies in the ear of the beholder And you two have exquisite ears Oh, this is exactly the sort of imaginative approach that we're looking for. I can't wait to see it. it. You know, neither can I. But the musical's been cancelled. <laughs> Mr. Brock's musical is a highlight of the year. Staff and pupils absolutely love it. It's something that would never be cancelled, ever. Must have been an admin error or something. You, you know how wonderful this man is? He said, you all get more money for costumes this year. I did. You did? I, I did. I did. And then he went on and said, a new lighting rig. How generous is that? That was unexpected. But if that's what it takes to get the show on the road, then we must do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then this headmaster of headmasters, he said, the entire orchestra gets a new instrument and a confetti cannon for the finale. I just get carried away. It's great to see a headmaster supporting the creative arts. And this show is the perfect opportunity to see what Westbrook can do. Westbrook can do. With all this new equipment, this better be the greatest Christmas musical the world has ever seen. Rock on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Rock on. Come. Hey, look. The show's back on. Awesome! I think I'm gonna give the auditions a miss. Oh, come on, Hank, so you're amazing on stage. You have to audition. Roll up, folks. Come see the greatest show on earth. Rudolph the Rock and Roll Reindeer. Starring the one, the only, Hank Sister! Maybe. Yeah. You're totally right. This could be my chance to make Mum and Dad proud of me. Another day, and still no cradle. I'll just make a note of that. Go Dancer, go Prancer, go Dasher, go Vixen, go Comet, go Cupid, go Donna, go Blitzen. I can't wait for these auditions. Does anyone see my gherkins? I just think, enough nonsense about the cradle. Where are we going to put the bathing pool? We're out of gherkins. It's the vitamin K your body's craving. Have some broccoli instead. I don't want broccoli. I want gherkins. No one make any sudden movements. I can trot to the deli and get you a jar. Right this dude trot, right? If you would do that, you would officially be my favourite child. I can report you for saying that. Go straight to the deli. No dawdling, no stopping to, to, to look at amusing pigeons. This is an emergency. You'd run like the wind. You're only gherkins, Dad. I can do this. I'm not completely useless. That was Rudolph, not me. Please, it's an emergency. My mum needs gherkins. <laughs> That's not an emergency. I haven't seen her in a gherkin rage. What are they doing anyway? interruptions are making it really very difficult to... Not that it's a problem, of course. Good, because if it was, we'd be looking for a new director. Can I just do this in a coat? And cover up that knockout dress, Hayden, honey? You can't sell this song without a bit of sizzle, sugar. And you are looking smoking hot, girl. And why do I have goosebumps? Because you're excited about being in London? Oh, come on. A couple more weeks, we'll be in Tokyo. They say it's beautiful at Christmas. Nothing is the same as Christmas at home. And I always spend it with my mom and dad. Sorry, darling. Sometimes you want the rainbow. You gotta put up with the rain. <sighs> my eyes. This stuff will really make them pop. <clears throat> um, not to rush you, but uh, the flowers, they're starting to wilt. And they're not the only ones. You want to see your folks? They're right down that lands. Now you make them proud of their little girl. Okay. All right, well, 
one from the top and action so jealous. Well, you're... I know who you are. You know who you, you are. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I messed up your video. No, it, it's fine. You got me a lunch break. I owe you. Big time. Who is that? Tammy Harris, my manager. Is she always that angry? She's just kind of protective. <sighs> well, it can't have just disappeared like a catfish up a creek. You, you're on fire. Find him! I should probably give myself up. No, trust me. You do not want to do that. Follow me. I hate my hair like this. It's good to me, but I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I like your hair. Maybe that should be my new look. It's easy to do. You just wake up in the morning and you're good to go. Red hair. I love it. <laughs> Frankie's hair is always perfect. He spends hours on it. Oh, I just thought, never mind, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll, I'll write him a message. So you don't like my music? No. No, I mean, I mean, yes. Yes, I like it. I, I love it. Um, it's good. It's so musical. Right. So what's your favorite song off my new album? The, the new album? Yeah. I, uh, well... You know, it's so hard to pick a favorite when they're all so amazing. I promise I'll download it as soon as I get home. It's okay, save your money. I'll give you a free download link. If you don't like it, you can delete it. Thanks. All right. And call me and let me know what you think, because I could really do some honest feedback. <laughs> Tickles. Oh, you flatter me, Mr. Takashi. I am never washing this hand again. Gherkins. Where are all the gherkins? Sorry, Hank. Just sold out. No. I knew I should have got here sooner. Mom's gonna kill me. You must have come up with a good excuse. I bumped into a megastar, Hayden Chase. Not bad, but uh, the name needs some work. She's real? Of course she is. <sighs> Wait. I know to get Mom's and Gherkins. Papa Pete, where'd you keep the vinegar? You've made these. Yeah, step away from the jar rolls. They don't even look like Gherkins. I can't. I'm going in. 
couldn't find any gherkins. We only had chilies. Mmm, delicious. Oh. <gasps> oh, 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 I'll get you some water. <gasps> I told you not to dawdle. I didn't. I bumped into Hayden Chase. Fast world flying. Please make it slightly believable. I'm not lying. Look, she gave me a number. And she gave me a signed photo for Frankie. Oh, you really did meet her. Merry Christmas, Frankie. Uh, there's only one person I know who spells Christmas. C-R-I-S-M-U-S. That's weird. Mm, yeah, you bought the photo and signed it yourself to get out of trouble. Second rule of lying. Don't get caught red-handed. They didn't believe me. Nice try, Hank, but I'm not falling for it either. Hayden Chase doesn't have dyslexia. If she did, it would be in her autobiography. She's written a life story. She's only 16. Chasing rainbows. I have it in hardback and paperback. You guys should read them. I'd rather wax my eyeballs. Well, maybe she just doesn't like talking about dyslexia. It's not exactly something you brag about. You can keep on selling, but I'm not buying it. Come on, we don't want to be late for the Christmas audition. <gasps> Why would no one believe me? Get your rearing gear, girl. The day don't wait for no one, darling. Bob, can you help me with something? All right, sweetie pie. Just try a little louder. This will be the biggest disaster since Henry Zipser was allowed in the school talent show. Being able to fart the national anthem is not. Inspectors of front row seats to a Christmas catastrophe. I have no choice. You want to see it. Maybe it'll only be a bit of a disaster. Have you been eating tinsel? This is Mr. Rock we're talking about. Just once I want to hear Santa say. You're never gonna talk that. Come Rudolph, tonight you can get slay. I think you found your Rudolph, Mr. Rock. He's perfect. Yeah, well, no, come on, he's a little too perfect. Remember, before Rudolph saves the day, all the other reindeers make fun of him. Next! We have our inspectors. Two perfect sounds. Perfect to me. There's no next. Cast him. He's Rudolph. Next! Santa's naughty list. Stop smiling. Why are you smiling? No smiling. Not Zipsa. No way. Now he's funny. Funny. Here's my decision. I got the part. Hello? Anybody home? to a class on home birth. I don't think you want to come. Dinner's in the oven. Try not to bend the flat down, Hank. I know how to use an oven, Dad. I think I'm going to have salad tonight. Do I? 